Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with Manchester City and today we've got episode 15 of the career mode and in today's episode we're going to play in a second leg against Ajax. So just before we go any further then into today's episode, the majority of you guys watching this right now aren't subscribed to the channel. If you do end up enjoying today's episode, please go down below, hit the red subscribe button, it's completely free and you can always go back and change your mind. So here is then the Premier League table to start things off in today's episode and in the last episode we did get a win against Liverpool, a 2-0 win. Which could be title deciding. As you can see, Liverpool are a game ahead of us right now on 28 points. So we're six points ahead of them with a game in hand. They just drew their most recent game with West Brom 1-1 in that one. So we can win our game in today's episode in the Premier League. We could go nine points ahead of Liverpool. But in the last episode then, we did play the Carabao Cup final. And we did get a win in that one. A 3 on win against Spurs. And that's our first trophy of the season. Coming up though in today's episode we do have the fifth round of the FA Cup where we will be taking on Brentford for this one and I am excited. We're going to play with our rotated side. Uh, playing in that game we're going to have Max Aarons, Grimaldo, Declan Rice, Leon Bailey. So all of our new signings will be playing in this game. And also coming up in today's episode we do have the second leg against Ajax in the round of 16. A very important game for us because we need to get to the final and hopefully win the Champions League. You know we do have one away goal as it stands right now. But I really thought in that first leg against Dykes, we could have done a lot better. So here we go then. Here is how we're going to line up for the first game in today's episode. Taking on Brentford, the fifth round. And you can see, this is how we line up. We've got Mendy at left back. Made a mistake thinking we're going to, you know, start all of our new signings. But obviously, Grimaldo, first team player. So Mendy's going to go in at left back. We've got Nathan Ake, Stones and Max Ahrens making his debut for the club. We've got Declan Rice making a debut as well in midfield with Foden and Gundogan. And we're going with Jesus up front. I was going to start Aguero. He is on the bench, but I'm going to start with Jesus. Leon Bailey on the left and Bernardo Silva on the right. Let's get into this one against Brentford and get through, hopefully, into the next round. So I am excited then to see... Okay, Jesus getting tackled straight away there. But I am excited to see how all the new signings get on. Obviously, a little bit of a problem with Matt Sharpness. But Mendy there being able to cut that one out. Like I say, Max Aaron's Declan Rice. I think Declan Rice is currently getting a minus five. I think partly because of Matt Sharpness, but also because he is a CDM. Playing in centre mid at the moment. Obviously, if I wanted to, do, if I wanted to, I could change the formation up a little bit. But I'm happy with playing there, to be fair. It shouldn't make too much of a difference. There we go. Mendy getting it up there to Leon Bailey now. Let's try and get it inside. Foden up to Jesus. Out wide now to Bernardo Silva. Jesus making a run. Okay, didn't go to him, but it went to Foden instead. No problem. Down to Max Aarons now. Can we get a good cross in here to Jesus? Never mind, it's gone to the back post. And Leon Bailey. I went for the shot. Obviously, I should have gone for the fake shot. Worked it back into it, but I wanted to see what he could do from there. And to be fair, very difficult angle, very difficult. Oh, here we go. Oh, never mind. Brentford might be in here. Declan, no, no John Stones, my mistake. What about Declan Rice? Uh, John Stones trying to go out to cut this one out. Probably dragged him a little bit too far out of position. Still trying to stop this now. John Stones once again coming out. And it is going to go out for a throw in. And, okay, yeah, I think we need Max Aaron's back over on his right-hand side now. Gundogan, let's see if we can work something up through midfield. Okay, that's a good pass. Foden, maybe to Mendy. Okay, down the line for Leon Bailey now. This way he can burn his pace. 92 sprint speed right now. Leon Bailey going forward. Maybe a low crossover. Go on, the finish. And it's in. There we go, 1-0. 25 minutes in. Bernardo Silva does score. And that's a great counter attack. You've got to be fair. What was that? How many, how many passes? Well, seven or eight after the throw-in. And we go ahead and score in this game. 25 minutes in. Obviously, this rotated side does still have some very good players in it. But it's a good way to get some younger... Not younger, but you could say younger players like Max Aaron, you know, Nathan Ake. Well, actually, I don't think Nathan Ake is that young anymore. But you guys get the gist, you know. Not every day first team start at some game time. But there we go. Into the back of the net. And Bernardo Silva. How many has he scored in the FA Cup? That's his second goal in the FA Cup. So I'm just trying to cut out some of these passes here. But it's proving quite difficult. Brentford... Okay, trying to go down that right-hand side. Try to cut that pass out. Leon Bailey now. Might try and send him running once again. As we've seen, his sprint speed is amazing. That's a great ball for Foden now. Uh, back through for Jesus. Could we make it 2-0? And he's taken down in the end. 35 minutes in. We're going to get a free kick here. And he's going to get a yellow card as well. Now, just a warning for you guys. I'm not the best at free kicks. Any of you guys a long time watch on my videos, you'll know I'm not the best at free kicks. Who do we have on field right now? Gundogan is going to line up to take this. Is that best, Gundogan? Oh, I was thinking maybe Silver, actually. No, maybe not Foden, no. Okay, Gundogan it is, and he's best. Okay, I'm not going to be able to see his stats once again. Let's just try and go 
Let's just try and go there. Yeah, let's try and go there. It's landed perfectly for me. Up and over the wall. And it's in the back of the net. 35 minutes in. Gundogan does score the free kick and it's in. And that's took me by surprise. Like, it's not the best looking free kick I could imagine. Let's take a look at the replay. But it's in the back of the net. It's up and over the wall. That's all that matters. And it landed perfectly, that little circle there. Here's the replay. Up and over the wall. And the goalkeeper's got to do a lot better there. I mean, let's just be honest. I think he face plants the post as well. You might be able to see that. Here's the replay. And no, but he does, <laughs> I think it does hit his upper chest there. But there we go. Gundogan scores a free kick in this one. That's now 2 0 in this game. Nathan Ake cuts that one out. Bernardo Silva now. Maybe down here for Leon Bailey to Jesus. Okay, never mind. Here we go. Let's go again. Foden now with the shot. And okay, Bernardo Silva keep it in. And he can't just get there in the end to keep it in. We are going to get a corner here just before half time. And I should have done a little bit better there. Decent shot from Phil Foden, I've got to say. Who can we get this into now? Nathan Ake is probably looking the best. And John Stones. And it's in towards Jesus. Not the best. And it's going to fall to Foden. Um, can we get a pass forward? And we can. Gundogan over to Jesus. Go on to finish. Oh, I just skimmed the net in as well. But there we go. Into half time here. Not a bad first half, let's be honest. Okay, building up here. Max Aarons now running forward from this right back position. Maybe a low cross early. And trying to get it in to Phil Foden. Pinnock is going to get it cleared. He obviously is on a yellow card at the moment. Still hasn't been subbed off. Let's try and get this a little bit further back now. And again, it's aimed towards Jesus. He does get a header on it, but it is going to go over. Aarons, okay, maybe an assist for him here. Never mind. Jesus, Foden, 3 0. It is 3 0. 67 minutes in. Phil Foden adds his name to the score sheet. And Max Aarons, I was trying to get him an assist there, but you know, Felden just made that great run that Jesus just had to get the ball to him. And there we go, 3-0 in this one now against Brentford. To be fair, they haven't played the best, if I'm going to be honest. You know, they've had a few a few chances here and there, but nothing really that bored the goalkeeper. And it looks like at this point, we're going to be through to the next round. Just trying to watch here for any sort of run or anything going on. And John Stones cuts that one out. Gundogan now, can we get another goal in this game? It is possible, maybe over the top here, and that's a decent ball. Leon Bailey should be able to get to that, and he can. Okay, Leon Bailey now just waiting for support. Might just try and take it himself here. Go on, the finesse shot, and okay, that's an easy block in the end, to be fair. I should have seen that coming. Okay, can Brentford here stop the clean sheet? We'll have to see. It looks like they're not going to be able to. Mendy, get that one cleared. Ref, blow for the full-time whistle, and there we go. We start off today's episode with a good 3-0 win, and I'm so happy about that. Let's go ahead and check now who we've got in the next round. So here is then how all of the results happened in the fifth round. You see Stoke City knocking out United there with a 1-0 win. Cardiff City winning 2-0. Everton winning 4-1. Derby County winning 3-0. Liverpool knocking out Chelsea. Arsenal beating Huddersfield. Newcastle United knocking out West Brom. And then we got the 3-0 win against Brentford. Now you look at some of the teams that got maxed up there. See Liverpool and Chelsea. We got quite a lucky draw in that one. You know, noticing some of the other teams as well. United, Everton, Newcastle, Arsenal in that draw. But here is who we've got next in the sixth round. And we've got Arsenal. Okay, I'm looking forward to that game. When we faced them in the Premier League, I think we've got a 3 0 win in that one. 3 or 4 0 win. Liverpool taking on Newcastle United. Everton taking on Derby. And you got Stoke taking on Cardiff City. So I know you guys have seen who is the top scorer in the Premier League and also other competitions as well. But I'm about to show you guys now who the top scorer is for the club overall. And as you can guess, Harry Kane on 31 goals, 7 assists this season. Kevin De Bruyne just behind him on 14, still in on 13, and Messi on 12. And I think Messi is about to start picking up some more goals while playing in that camp position. Because um, let's have a look who the top assist is. I think we just seen then. It's going to be Kevin De Bruyne followed by Messi, I believe. And it is, yeah, Kevin De Bruyne on 18 and then Messi just on 13. So again, I think Messi, we're going to start playing him in that camp position and maybe play De Bruyne just behind him in centre mid alongside Rodri. Well, here we are then, lining up for our second game of the episode, taking on Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. We're going to go on normal starting lineup. Of course, Silva is still fully fit, even though he just played that last game. We only had two days rest between the game against Brentford and this game, so Silva's done really well to get back up to full fitness there. So I'm happy with that. I'm glad we can play our normal starting 11. Like I say, hopefully increase our point tally now in the Premier League and go up to nine points ahead of Liverpool. So this is such an important win. In this one, I'm actually nine points ahead of Liverpool. That'd be amazing. So let's get into it and see how we perform. Let's try and get off to a good start here. Kane, okay, slide tackle's coming in already. Uh, let's get out to the right-hand side. Silva, maybe looking for the run from Messi. Okay, it's in behind. Go on, Messi, try and take it all away. Never mind, get a pass inside. Silva, the touch, the roll, and it's in. Five minutes in against Crystal Palace, and we go 1-0 up. 
The assist from Messi, which had him even closer now. All right, actually, is that him level now with De Bruyne? Even though I've just read out who's the top assistant for the club, I'm pretty sure Messi was on 13 or 12 and De Bruyne was on 14. So that might have put him level there with De Bruyne. But five minutes in here, we're off to a good start there. Messi just trying to find space in the box. Finds the pass to the silver, sorry. And there we go. He turns around and fires it in. A point blank range at the goalkeeper. And that's four goals for Silva this season. Joao Cancelo trying to get the ball here for Bernardo Silva. Who's just going to lose it straight away there. I don't know why that's happened. Rodri trying to cut it out. And okay, let's see what Crystal Palace can do now on this attack. Basha Wai. And okay, Diaz just cuts that one out straight away. No messing around from Diaz. He's been amazing for us. Okay, trying to get it through there for Sterling. And it is. Ball rolling in behind. And there we go to Finesse. The finish and it's in. Oh my god, that was so close from Sterling there. And that was well worked from him. On that left-hand side, cutting inside the ball roll, but just to finesse, just couldn't find the net. Okay, Crystal Palace could be in here. Batshuayi now, what's he going to do? Shoot straight away near post, never mind Laporte. Cuts it out because he took too long deciding. Bernardo Silva now, maybe get a through for Harry Kane. That is a perfect pass, perfect. Harry Kane in the back of the net, surely, and it is. 2-0, 30 minutes in. Harry Kane now increasing his goal scoring record and like I said guys in the last couple of episodes he's on track to becoming you know the most well, scoring the most amount of goals in a Premier League season I think he's on 27 right now perfect pass there from Bernardo Silva into the feet of Harry Kane and no goalkeeper literally stops any shot from Harry Kane in that situation when they're one on one 99% of the time Harry Kane gets it in and he does just that and how, yeah, 27 goals now in the Premier League. Literally five goals and he'll be level with Mo Salah's record. De Bruyne are getting forward now. In for Messi. Okay, go on, Messi. Hit it first time. What? Okay, not the best of shots. So I'm going to be honest. I expected a little bit more from him there. But I uh, did see still not left-hand side, though, making a run as well. I think Messi should have aimed for near post there. Cancelo looking to get forward here. The ball to Bernardo Silva. To Harry Kane. Sterling. Okay, play that through for Sterling. Can he get to it? He can. Ball rolling inside. Go on, Sterling with a shot this time. Go in. And it is on target. I should have maybe gone for the finesse as well that time. Just before half time, another great bit of play from us. It's, it's been all of us this first half, literally, as you guys have seen. Crystal Palace haven't really seen much of the ball. And when they have, we, we found it very easy to get it back off them. Harry Kane with the header, though. And it's going to go wide. And there we go. That's the first half. 2 0 up. Couldn't have asked for a better first half, really. Kevin De Bruyne wins the header. Here we go, Messi now. Could we make it 3-0? Down there for Sterling. Sterling's got a score in this game, hasn't he? There we go. Come on, score, surely. Off the post, man. Skill, uh, scaling? Uh, sorry, Sterling has been so unlucky in this game. He's been playing brilliantly well. And, you know, it's just, it's just not fell for him today. It really hasn't. We've got the throw in, though. Uh, let's try and find... Okay, we have Messi trying to get Aleta Harry Kane. What? A little bit of confusion there between Sterling and Kane. No one really knew who to pick up the ball. Bernardo Silva now, 87 minutes in. This could possibly be the last chance of the game. Bernardo Silva still pushing forward. Looking for the perfect pass. Trying to find Harry Kane. Never mind the pass there. Kane in the end. And how close do you have to be? That's probably the only time I've seen Harry Kane not get a ball in the back of the net. He was pretty close to the goalkeeper, to be fair. Three minutes added on. We have made some changes in this game, as you guys have seen. Phil Foden's on. Leon Bailey's come on as well. And I think Gundogan's come on. Just try and rest some key players before we do get into the game against Ajax here. Okay, let's have a see. Let's just get this one cleared. Right, so why he gets the pass back now. Mitchell inside. Lamella. And, okay, going to be offside for that one. And we should just be getting the full-time whistle here. Let's just get it cleared. Referee, blow the whistle, and there we go, our second game in today's episode. We walk away with a 2-0 win, and that must mean that we're now nine points ahead of Liverpool in the table. So here is then the Premier League table, and as you guys can see, we are on 71 points, but again, a game in hand on Liverpool. Pretty frustrating, I wanted to see it as 28, both, both playing 28 games pretty much, but you can see they got a 3-1 win against Newcastle on that right-hand side. But we are still, well, we're six points ahead of them right now, but obviously a game in hand, we win that. We are nine points ahead of them. So I'm happy to get the win, but Liverpool keep putting on the pressure. So just before we do go into the game then against Ajax, I just wanted to check the Eredivisie League and just see where Ajax are. And they are in the top four, which is a little bit of a surprise. I thought they'd be at the top of the table, if I'm going to be honest. But you can see they're in fourth place on 55 points. So they're only three points behind at league leaders Feyenoord. But again, I really thought they'd be in first place. But here we are then, here is some of the results that have happened so far. And as you guys know, obviously 1-1 with Ajax, Atletico Madrid beat Liverpool 2-1. 
But two games that have already finished and completed the two legs is the Chelsea and Borussia Mönchengladbach. And they won 4-4 on away goals and Barcelona beating PSG 5-3 over the two legs. So we'll have to see what the Liverpool score is after this game. Here is then having the lineup for the final game in today's episode, taking on Ajax. And we are going to be at home for this fixture to the second leg. Obviously, like I say in the first leg, I feel like we should have done a lot better. We should have got the win in that one. Well, we did, get, we did get the away goals. So it technically felt like a win. But at the same time, I wanted two or three away goals in that one. Only the one isn't enough and there's still work to do in this second leg. Here we go then, ready to get into this game against Ajax. A big second leg ahead of us. And like I say, I really want to get through this game to see who we could possibly have in the next round. Obviously, if we do make it into the next round. Declan Rice picking up a yellow card last time out. So I don't remember that happening, but okay. <laughs> Picks up a yellow card. But, but yeah, let's get into it. I was tempted to go quite attacking in the first half of this one. But again, I reckon Ajax will sit back and try and hit us on the counter, if I'm going to be honest. Okay, Ajax starting off really well here. No way. No way they're going to concede. Oh, there we go. We've just given away our away goal already. Seven minutes, well, eight minutes in. And Ajax go ahead and score, literally. What? I've hardly had a touch of the ball. Literally, I think we had kickoff. Must have miskicked it at some point. Obviously, Ajax took control. And within eight minutes, they've gone ahead and scored. And they've got themselves an away goal. Well, that's all they need to do now is sit back, defend really well. And they're through into the next round. How bad can you be? Wow, okay. Yeah, it was a long, a long game this one. It's going to be a long, long game. Uh, yeah, okay. Ajax, 1-0 so far in this second leg. Grimaldo, ball forward to Sterling. Trying to get this in for Harry Kane. Go on, Harry Kane. Just keep barging through. That is great. Just drag it back a little bit. Just try and hold it up. Try and get some more players into this. Okay, Grimaldo. I can see Rodri's free. Let's get it forward. Sterling. Okay, through once again. Back to Sterling. Go on, just get through. That is it. The shot is away. And it's in. Oh my god, we've scored 17 minutes in. Sterling finally gets his goal after not scoring in the last game. And there we go, we're level right now. Both teams have an away goal and both teams have a home goal. And I just feel a lot of weight off my shoulders right now. After Ajax scoring so early on, Sterling's done really well there. I think he dribbles past two defenders there and then just takes a shot on. Quite ambitious shot, to be honest. I didn't think that was going in. There was shots in the last game where I thought they were definitely going to go in more than that goal. But there we go, that's three goals for him this season in the Champions League. De Bruyne, here we go, in towards Messi. Now, Messi didn't play as a cam last time he played Ajax. But here we go. Go on. Down to Sterling. Come on, Sterling. Rolling inside. That is great. Take the shot on now. 2-0. 2-1, uh, sorry. And it is 2-1. Sterling is on fire right now, guys. Literally on fire. Last game, obviously, didn't score, but he's in good form. The second chance now going forward. He scored. And that's 2-1 now. And obviously, if it stays as it, is, as it is, we are going through into the next round. A great assist there from Messi. Sterling working his way into the box. And another great shot. And into the back of the net. And that's now four goals for him. In this competition. So I've got to admit Ajax aren't the best at the back at the moment. They're allowing us a lot of attacking options. I don't really know what happened in the first 8 minutes. I wish we didn't concede that goal right now. Obviously having two home goals. But it is what it is. But Ajax like I say very good going forward. But at the back we can exploit them. So we just need to start attacking a lot. And try and get majority of possession. Because when Ajax have got possession. As you can see I shouldn't have ran Cancelo forward. But luckily it goes out of play. They can be dangerous on the attack. Here we go, Anthony now on this right-hand side. What can he do? Okay, he tried the skill, but De Bruyne just wasn't having any of it. Okay, I was going to try and maybe get a ball forward to Sterling. We still can. Okay, in towards Harry Kane. Just about to go half-time here. Just looking at Rodri making a run. Maybe over the top there for Bernardo Silva. Okay, keep going forward. Keep it in. Okay, maybe the pass in for Rodri. Okay, never mind. In for Messi, even better. Into, oh, try getting it into Harry Kane or even Rodri. But it's going to be offside in the end. And I think that is going to be it for this first half. Pretty certain. Ref's going to blow the whistle. And okay, still not blowing the whistle. But there we go. Into half time in this game. And it's 2-1. And right now, with the result stage the same, we would go through into the quarterfinals. Okay, Ajax really outplaying us. Anthony now gets the cross. No way. Promes, he scores 57 minutes in. No way, guys. Yeah, oh my god, this game really takes out of me. You know, last episode, the, the, the final the Liverpool game, uh, and then the Carabao Cup final, and then going into this episode, obviously we had the FA Cup, wanted to get through, the game against Crystal Palace, wanted to go 9 points out of Liverpool, and then now this game, bloody hell, do you know what I mean? I just do not get a break at the moment, but there we go, Promes, a great away goal there for Ajax, really is great. You know, I should have done a lot better defending that cross before I even went into the box. There we go, we've got to go up the other end now and score another goal. 
There we go, Messi now. De Bruyne, let's send Sterling running once again. Here we go, going forward now. We've got to get a goal. Sterling, a low cross in. Trying to find Harry Kane. Couldn't get it to him. And if you guys wanted realism, this is realism right now in terms of like... Um, finding it really hard to get through in the round of 16. Because normally these games aren't too bad for me. I can normally get through. And Ajax putting on a really good display here. No matter how good this Man City team is. They just still find their way through and able to score. Okay, no way. No way. We're not going to concede again here. Let's get Kevin De Bruyne just on this now. Just track the ball down. No way. Edison, save that. No way. They've scored again. 71 minutes in. Promes scores. And I think that's it, guys. I don't think there's literally any way back. They've got three away goals right now. And Quincy Promes has had the game of his career. Literally putting three. Well, uh, yeah, he scored all three in this one, hasn't he? I'm pretty certain he has. And, oh my god, it's, it's, it's over. It's over. The Champions League is over, man. How? Oh, this is... It is difficult. It is difficult, you know, right now. And Edison there... Oh, my days. I think I'm too busy trying to bring De Bruyne out to try and stop the tackle and not bring any centre-backs out of position. Gundogan's come on. I wish that change happened sooner, if I'm going to be honest. I'm going to go ultra-attacking. What, what have I got to lose right now? Nothing. I've got... I don't know how many goals I've got to get right now, but it's it's, it's, it's too many. There we go, winning it back. Ruben Diaz gets it forward now. Messi, again, I could do with taking him off ideally, but 10 minutes to go. Here we go, Bernardo Silva, Harry Kane. Kane, just keep running. Just take it inside, maybe make a run, Gundogan. Go on, the shot is on. And okay, Onana oh, no, makes a great save, and it's cleared, lads. 83 minutes in, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, I don't, like I say, promise are going to go off. An amazing game. Let's just be honest, had an amazing game. Uh, Messi, uh, looking for some runners. Gundogan, okay, across the shot, and, oh, Bernardo Silva, let's get Messi on, uh, Messi's on the right wing now, because obviously we've got ultra attacking, haven't we, let's get Leon Bailey on, and that, you have to get it on target at least, that sort of shot, 85 minutes played now, I think we might as well just commentate now to the end, there's no point stopping now, 5 minutes to go, you guys be able to see how I'm trying to play out this game, uh, Sterling, trying to get a ball forward, cut out in the end, by Davy Klassen, Harry Kane, let's get some pressure on here, team press. Um, come on, come on. Oh, my God. And I think three away goals as it is counts as six home goals. And we scored two home goals, do you know what I mean? And one away goal, so that's, what, four? Um, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not possible, lads. It's not possible. Look, two minutes added on. And that is going to be the end of our Champions League run. I cannot believe it, lads. I cannot believe it. Harry Kane gets taken out there. Graham Birch and Ajax wanted it more than us today. And I really couldn't deal with Anthony on the right-hand side. Putting them balls in the box there. Quincy Promise. And there we go. I don't know what else to really say. That is the end of our Champions League journey for this career mode. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to keep it real with you guys. You know, I could have easily pressed start, restarted match. And you guys would never have known. I would have got through into the next round. Do you know what I mean? So... Keeping it real with you guys, I'm going to get knocked out now of the Champions League and it's not great, do you know what I mean? Because a lot of you guys would have been watching for the Champions League and wanted to see how far we could go and hopefully lift the trophy that Man City have never lifted. But if you wanted realism in this career mode and that's what I tried to provide the whole time, obviously apart from transfers and what have you, but you know, you've got it in this game here. Look at that Ajax, that early goal just really set us back. So there we have it and guys, what a disappointing that game that was. I, I, I feel like I could have done so much better, but Sterling was on fire. I had Messi at camp, you know, I had the same team that went out and beat the likes of Liverpool, that went out and beat the likes of Spurs in the cup final, Crystal Palace at the, at the well, just before that game, do you know what I mean? So I didn't feel like the need to make any changes, but Ajax just a lot better on the day. We, we weren't the best going forward, but you can see they go through into the next round, Atletico Madrid go through, Liverpool getting knocked out as well. In the round of 16, um, obviously, uh, Borussia much and Gladbach going through, Barcelona going through. And this is how the other results are looking. Bayern 2-1, United 2-0, Juventus 3-0, and uh, Real Madrid 3-0 as well. But don't forget to join us then in the next episode where we'll have the sixth round in the FA Cup. We're going to be taking on Arsenal for this one. And this is the only other competition we have to focus on right now. Obviously, the Premier League, we're flying in that right now. Obviously, the FA Cup, I'd like to pick that up. Try and do the treble. Obviously, we can't do the quadruple, obviously, anymore. But I definitely want to win the FA Cup as well. So there we go, then, guys. A disappointing defeat in the round of 16 of the uh, Champions League. Do you know what I mean? I, it, like I say, uh, Sterling tried to do it all himself. And obviously, it just wasn't enough on the day. And, you know, thinking back now, I should have had Gundogan in midfield. Obviously, having De Bruyne there. You know, De Bruyne, I still think, had a good game in that game. But having Gundogan there just would have helped Rodri out in terms of defending. 
And, you know, I look back now in hindsight, but it's not enough, is it? And we got knocked out in the round of 16, a very disappointing game. But anyway, we've still got the FA Cup, and obviously we still have the Premier League to look forward to. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.